What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. On today's video, we're gonna install a Mosasaur lithium battery kit into my old series Easy Go golf cart. All right guys, let's open the battery up and check it out and see what the inside looks like. All right guys, got the battery case open. Now this was on here like this, covering this side of the sails. And we had this one down here covering this side of the cells just like that it says positive is going to your positive which is going through a fuse to the output and your negative going down there into the BMS so these are just covers for the cells the bar here that connects these eight cells to these eight cells uh, looks to be um, insulated as well there with maybe some heat shrink on there I'm going to try to see what gauge wire this is. This cable is four gauge cable. So we have four gauge cables between the uh, cells and the BMS, out of the BMS onto the battery case as well. So this is the inside of the Mosasaur battery. I think it looks pretty good. I just wanted to show that on camera. Before I wrap it up, I was wanting to show you another thing. Temp sensors, temp sensors in here. We have a temp sensor going into there as well. And I was thinking this was a temp sensor, but upon inspection, it's got a heat shrink here. So I think this right here is for the Bluetooth um, connectivity. I think this is the antenna. It's just laying up in here. So we should be good there. All right, so on the Mosasaur battery, there's a piece of tape down here in the corner. If you remove it, or if you remove the top here, it's gonna leave this right here sticky that says void. So your warranty would be void. Now they told me to take the top off to show everyone, but so you've seen the inside of this battery. There's no need for you to take the top off of your battery if you order one of these right here because it does have that void sticker on there. But these batteries come with a prorated five-year warranty. It's a lithium iron phosphate battery, IP65 rated. It shows you the temperature range that they want you to stay in there. Uh, fast charge, powerful acceleration, maintenance free, no water needed for this battery. Obviously it's a lithium battery. But this is a very nice battery here. Looks to be very well built. Can't wait to get into the cart and get it installed. Now the accessories that come with the cart, obviously you get your charger. The charger has its own special connector on there. This connector here hooks directly to this connector here. Now this looks like one of the AC power port inputs, except they have their own style of connector that goes in there. That plugs into the charger. This right here will plug into that style there. So it kind of looks like an EV style adapter there. And this right here plugs into your wall, okay? Now, do you have to use this right here? You don't have to, you could use a NOCO or whatever you wanted to, but you would just need to modify the end of this to fit the charger end here uh, to fit your NOCO. Now on the charger, it just plugs into the power and ground wire like so. Your display screen here is enclosed in its own mount. I think that looks pretty good. I like to see these right here enclosed. And it's got a wide mounting feet option there as well. So this also plugs into the system. And it comes with all the wires and everything you need. And it comes with some instructions as well. Now this golf cart we're going to be installing it in used to belong to me. I sold it to a buddy of mine back in 2019. And it looks about the same. Uh, the color matches my single cab truck that now my son drives, which is a silver birch metallic. I think it's a pretty color. I did the 27 inch general grabber ATs on it, all terrain tires. This cart rides amazingly well. Um, the golf cart still has the Trojan batteries in it from 2019. We're going to yank those out of there and get this right here prepped to get it installed. But this is a very nice cart. We actually did seat heaters in this cart in the, both of the bottoms here. And those just provided so much uh, warmth during the winter time. Y'all know I like to ride my golf carts. There's no need to build a golf cart if you're not gonna ride it. But anyways, with that being said, let's get in here. I'm gonna yank these right here, old Trojans out. And we're gonna get this thing prepped for a new lithium. All right, so we have the battery hooked up. We got our positive going to positive. Negative going to negative of the charger. This right here is going to the LCD screen. That shows the LCD screen right here. 
This over here, the comm cable, okay? This is actually going to this cable here. And that's going into the charger. Now, the charger has a, a remote LED light that shows you when it's charging. And it shows you, you know, it's below or over 80% or right at 100%, okay? And it shows different colors. Everything is plugged in and working now. If you do not have the comm cable hooked up, the charger will not charge. So you got to be sure to hook that up as well. So um, we'll make sure to get all of that hooked up. I see, just seen a couple of extra cables. I was wanting to make sure everything was going to be working properly. We're charging at 17.49 amps, 53 volts is 17.4 degrees Celsius. It says an hour and 37 minutes till it's fully charged. Go to page two. So it says there we're at 76 amp hours right now, and this is a 105 amp hour battery. Um, charge and discharge is on. The cycles, everything is normal. Go to the page three, shows you the millivolts of the 16 cells that are inside the battery. So everything is working properly, and we're gonna let this right here charge up. And while this right here is charging up, I'm gonna go ahead and get the batteries out of the golf cart. All right, got the batteries out, and I've had a guy reach out to me and says, hey, I don't have a welder, and this is what I do. And maybe this right here will help others too. Well, I've actually had people reach out and says, hey, I don't have a welder to cut my battery box up. What else, you know, kind of method would you do? And well, this guy showed me he used two by sixes in the place there. He basically just cut the top of the tabs off to make it smooth and put two by sixes down. And well, I think that's what we're gonna do on today's video to just get this right here a simple uh, flat base here. Uh, I don't wanna use plywood, I don't wanna use MDF, but a weathered uh, two by six, I think will be fine in here. And that's what we're gonna use. All right, just got done, went in there to the cutoff wheel, zipped them up across the top there, so we're good. This right here frame's still good. Um, there's really no need to cut it up. Some two by sixes would work just fine, maybe some two by eights. I'm gonna see exactly what I got and I'm just gonna get them in there. All right, just went in there, I cut two pieces, a two by six at 22 inches long. This right here raised it up enough to get over the battery tray in the middle. And if your customer ever wants to go back to lead acid, I don't know why, but if you ever wanted to go back to lead acid, well, we're not modifying the battery tray one bit, okay? Uh, now he did say he wanted to keep his stock battery charger, it's a DPI charger. He said, just in case one day if I ever go back to regular lead acid. So with that being said, I did two by sixes in here and this gives us enough width, okay? It fits on both sides. We can go ahead and install the lithium in here and bolt it down to the two by sixes and we're perfectly fine. Got the battery in place. So I used the two by sixes, 22 inches long, dropped them into place, centered the battery up the best I could against the back and the front, left and right. Went in and put some quarter 20 lag bolts in there. I think there's about an inch and a quarter long. Okay, so the battery's in. We retain the stock fuse because of the all tracks controller here. The gauge is in, the charger's plugged up. We made a, a charger adapter. I'll show you all of that in here in just a minute. Went ahead and mounted the onboard charger over there. He did not want this right here mounted anywhere on the body. I don't blame him. Um, that's just a light on the charger. All right, there's a dash. See the gauge, I got it mounted. I know what you're thinking. There's no gauge on there and you're exactly right. So this battery here has Bluetooth technology so he can monitor it, you know, from his phone. So he said, mount the gauge somewhere uh, where I can use it if I have to, but if I don't, you know, I don't want it like taking up any spaces anywhere on the dash. I don't blame him. He didn't want to drill into the body. I don't blame him. So what we did is we mounted it up underneath this cover here. It's kind of out of the way, out of mind, out of sight. You can get to it easily. This right here is the smart battery meter here. It's touch screen. Um, page two, um, you know, you can turn the charge on and off, turn the battery on and off. You got, shows you the amp hours of the capacity of the battery. Okay, it says everything is normal down there. Uh, page three obviously has all of your uh, cell voltages as well. So we're going back to page one there. Battery's fully charged. 
okay? This right here, these right here just break just about all the time on the easy goes. But with that being said, you got the charger uh, mounted and we got the gauge mounted, but it's, it's out of the way, you know? So I think it looks pretty good. Clean install, in my opinion. Uh, we might still go back and add a ratchet strap. However, this battery is like 100, uh, 100 pounds. Adding a ratchet strap over the entire battery in the frame of the battery tray probably wouldn't be a bad idea, but um, I'm gonna see exactly what he wants to do. We went ahead and took out the factory charge receptacle. We added theirs in place. I cut a 36 volt uh, size acrylic adapter with the four bolts. I'm not really liking this four bolt design. I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't care too much for it, but that's just me. Um, and this one uses its own style of charger plug. So this is the main plug. It's plugged in, it's got a red light here showing you it's plugged in. It kind of looks like an EV uh, charger plug. It's kind of neat looking, I'm not gonna lie. I think I might like, or I prefer the, uh, just a regular extension cable charger you know, with a no-co, to be honest with you, but this is what came with the kit. It's not a bad looking uh, thing there, but that's what we're gonna use. Now this right here plug has some length on it, probably say six to 10 feet of cable there. It's not too bad. So that's about it on today's video here. I'm sure we'll get some rolling shots here in just a minute. All right, guys, there is the cart, and that's what it looks like outside. It's a good looking cart still. I was telling him this right here at the time, couldn't really do nothing but now with the uh laser we can cut a grill so might look into that too for uh, people without the same body there maybe cut some lay custom grills there that's the cart it's got the jake's lift on it that's my first set of wheel lights i ever made a long time ago uh, they're still going but um it is what it is like i said still a good looking car oh check this right here out this was the first cart or second cart I did this modification on by using the RXV key switch. And what's crazy about it is this is a SPM. It's just a series. That's a reversing contactor there. So this is a one of my old old builds a long time ago. Still a clean cart. It's weathered. 27 inch grabber ATs, white letters. We did the uh, Fosgate 12 in here. Had to turn it upside down in order to fit it in the cavity there, but still sounds good. Did the brake light on the bottom. Didn't do left and right brake lights, just front and rear, no turn signals. But this was a clean car to mine. Love it. Missed it for a very long time, but gotta move on, keep on moving. Anyways, I appreciate y'all watching today's video. I'll put links to the Moser, Moser SAR battery down in the description below. Anyways, we're gonna do some riding here, see what this right here is like. I'm gonna ride it over to his house and drop it off. He lives about a mile or two from me, so. All right, guys, appreciate y'all watching today's video. Till next time, we'll holler at y'all later. Bye. Was up all night, but I